chapter 24. Suppose a man marries a woman, but later discovers something about her that is shameful. So he writes her a letter of divorce, gives it to her, and sends her away. If she then leaves and marries another man, and the second husband also divorces her or dies, the former husband may not marry her again, for she has been defiled. That would be detestable to the Lord. You must not bring guilt upon the land the Lord your God is giving you as a special possession. A newly married man must not be drafted into the army or given any other special responsibilities. He must be free to be at home for one year, bringing happiness to the wife he has married. It is wrong to take a pair of millstones or even just the upper millstone as a pledge, for the owner uses it to make a living. If anyone kidnaps a fellow Israelite and treats him as a slave or sells him, the kidnapper must die. You must cleanse the evil from among you. Watch all contagious skin diseases carefully and follow the instructions of the Levitical priests. Obey the commands I have given them. Remember what the Lord your God did to Miriam as you were coming from Egypt. If you lend anything to your neighbor, do not enter your neighbor's house to claim the security. Stand outside, and the owner will bring it out to you. If your neighbor is poor and has only a cloak to give a security, do not keep the cloak overnight. Return the cloak to its owner by sunset, so your neighbor can sleep in it and bless you. And the Lord your God will count it as a righteous act. Never take advantage of poor laborers, whether fellow Israelites or foreigners, living in your towns. Pay them their wages each day before sunset, because they are poor and are counting on it. Otherwise they might cry out to the Lord against you, and it would be counted against you as sin. Parents must not be put to death for the sins of their children, nor the children for the sins of their parents. Those worthy of death must be executed for their own crimes. True justice must be given to foreigners living among you and to orphans, and you must never accept a widow's garment in pledge of her debt. Always remember that you were slaves in Egypt, and that the Lord your God redeemed you. That is why I have given you this command. When you are harvesting your crops and forget to bring in a bundle of grain from your field, don't go back to get it. Leave it for the foreigners, orphans, and widows. Then the Lord your God will bless you in all you do. When you beat the olives from your olive trees, don't go over the boughs twice. Leave some of the olives for the foreigners, orphans, and widows. This also applies to the grapes in your vineyard. Do not glean the vines after they are picked, but leave any remaining grapes for the foreigners, orphans, and widows. Remember that you were slaves in the land of Egypt. That is why I am giving you this command.